Hello everyone, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. We're out on the water. This is technically would be part five of our little uh, trip here, but this is actually a whole different day. This is Sunday, different day, different rules. Right, Charles? Sure. So buckle up, hang on. We're gonna try to catch some largemouth bass and we'll talk about later how we did it because honestly, right now, we don't know. We're just gonna give it a shot. Let's go. Oh, Charles. Feels good too. He says he's got a bass. Right off the bat, we haven't even got the GoPro set up or nothing. Yeah, it's a nice chunk. We've got the wind blowing into this bank. Tried and true. I'm trying this bait out. Got him on that old bluegill deal. So, we're on him. Right off the bat, no skunk. Right off the bat, though, a ton of wind. Oh, yeah. It's like we put the boat in and it picked up. Yeah, the, you put the boat in the water and the wind's like, oh! There's a play toy to blow around. Whoa. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. What'd you do? Almost calm. Hey. Yeah. So here we go. Part five, epic battle with the wind. Who will win? About ready to rig up my uh There's a hit. That drag is way too loose, but he's on so far. I was getting ready to say, I'm about ready to rig up something else or grab another rod. Get in this boat. Wow, All right, this. we got this a double. Looks like a decent fish. Look at that rod. Yeah, Charles says he's got a decent one. I've I don't got. Oh, it feels like it. Oh, no. Quarter pounder of cheese. Yeah. Oh, and he spit it right at the boat. Charles lost his. There's mine. Do we need to pick? Probably not. I got a spider on me. Look at that spider. <laughs> Look at its top fin. Get What's up me. with that? It's mean. It's fighting. I guess. Wee! Look at that jumper, Charles. Right. Well, it took a lot of cast, but we got it in, and my drag is a touch too loose. I know you guys hear me say that all the time. But I could tell the minute I set that hook, I'm like, oh, drag is too loose, but it worked. Okay, we are this has got good on the board tied up. Charles missed like two, we got one in. Yeah. So that bait is working better than our little uh, creature, but I got these creature baits just to put on the, as use them as trailers on my uh, chatter day. We're starting out strong. And just because this was already on here, and there's like a little weed moss line, Charles is over There's a hit. There was a little bump on the chatterbait. <sighs> yeah, I thought about that. And I decided I was just going to go to this one because it always works. I'm going to try to reel that as slow as I can. You ought to be throwing that. There we go. That's a nicer fish, though, Charles. Oh! I said that. I'm telling you, dude. That ain't no joke. Yep. Species. That's a nice one. Oh! Man, that is that crazy AliExpress chatterbait that is just as good as any chatterbait you'll buy. Yep. That is a nice bass. Yeah, it's a nice bass. Early on. Definitely getting a pick. Let's go. Look at that jewel. If you guys don't know about this AliExpress uh, jackhammer knockoff, I call it. They don't really call it a jackhammer, but it definitely is a like replica of the jackhammer. Awesome chatterbait. But this is an awesome bass. We're going to see if it'll jump. No. Come on. We need a jumper. Look at that. Pretty clear water, Charles. Whoa, hang on to it, Charles. I think I'll throw that. I think I'll throw this dude. And I kind of picked the right color even uh, this morning before we even got here, but this little crawdad creature bait is about the same color as all this gunky. Oh, there's a fish right there, Charles. Oh. But anyway, that, is, feels, that feels nice too. 
Oh no, this is a good one, Charles, right here. All right. Oh boy. Woo! Nice fish. <laughs> I picked, pay attention to the color of that bait. And I, I just lucked out on that. But this is a good color that I, you know, know works before, but it is almost the same exact color, that mossy stuff. So you know how like a crawdad will change colors to the bottom. So it's a, about as, even though it looks pretty bright, it's kind of as natural as you can get of a bait. And it worked out good. That, and that's about the same exact size. Almost looks like it's the same fish. So we're not going to get a pick. We're going to see if it'll jump. The same fish yeah, I know. He, he, he's a good employee for the show. Oh, no, not a jumper. But anyway, you guys see that? The contrast, like the same exact color. Bright, kind of neon green almost looking. But you get this bait going through that stuff. Definitely stands out in clear water. But it looks just like the... Uh, I guess just like it should, it, it isn't out of place. The trick is getting it down in the spot and not getting it uh, gunked, gunked up, up yeah. when it's this kind of nasty, mossy, gunky stuff. I got it on a wobble head and that's that, I can't remember the name of it, but it, it came from a LT fishing store off AliExpress. Got full. I got one SD card left, two batteries left to get a video together for you guys for today. And if it's anything like what happens when me and Charles fish, about the time everything goes dead, we'll get on another little tear, tear of fish and you guys will miss all that. So I might try to actually just wrap up a video early on and save, you know, not even recording because the GoPro battery will last forever just sitting there kind of on standby and I just hit the button and it'll start rec actually I can leave it off and you hit the record button on this one the four silver I can just hit the button and it'll start it turns it on and starts recording right off the bat and I could do some fish catches there like right at the end the last 10 15 minutes of footage or the on the last battery a few bars I might do that well Maybe we worked out the spot. Let me try one more right in here. Now I'm kind of using this as a backup bait. Sometimes you can use, even though this is a big backup bait, or the fact that it is, you can get a littler backup backup bait. Throw even a smaller something in here. Charles got one way out there. I'm going to try to make sure you don't lose one if there's another one. Not, oh, he came loose. I saw him. Yep. Charles got a big old swim bait. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was trying with the bigger bass. I was trying the, the bigger swim bait to see how it would do. There we go. He was up shallow. Yeah? Yeah, like in a foot of water. I threw that bait. I can still see it. Oh, that's a crap. Is that a... No, what is that? Oh, that is a fighter. That's a bass. He flashed on the sideways. I thought for a second he was a crappie. Oh, this is a feeling right. I almost boat flipped him, which I, we and Charles were just talking about that. This is at least a pound and a half bass and light BFS rod. I don't know if you want to boat flip him. Almost tried it. Not really meaning to. All right, we got a pick. That was the Gobi Bryant that I tried yesterday to talk myself into using. I think I did at the end. Didn't have much luck. Caught one right off the bat with it. More. I saw that fish come out and take it. It's up there. It could have been around that wood. I just I threw that worm right up against the wind. It's kind of hard to do, but you get it right up along that surface moss. And I just kind of jigged it. I was talking about switching to an eighth ounce to get out here and deeper but they there may be a lot of fish just under that because it, it's hard to make out see that like right there charles yeah. there's like little holes they could actually sit right in there yeah. just wait for stuff coming by that the you know wind's kind of washing by them right. they jump out grab it right back in their little honey hole oh i thought i was that a fish i don't have any gunk that, that could have been a hit right there 
I'm going to let off the trolling motor. That's one good thing about the wind. You can let off that trolling motor. Let yourself back up just a hair. And I'm going to throw this right where I just threw that. Now this thing will hover there a little bit longer. And this is a bait they'll grab onto and hold on to longer. One downside about that. There we go, got him. One downside about that. Oh, I, for a minute I thought he, that is a dead fish, Charles. Have you ever had the walking dead, the swimming dead fish? Oh man, how'd you? Look at that dude. Look at that poor fish, he looks dead. Yeah. <laughs> he's alive, but he looks dead. Man, look how skinny he is. Yeah, he's like on his last leg. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I think that's the same fish that hit. So I'm kind of using that. Oh my goodness. Look at how just nasty. Look at that poor dude. He's like a whole different color. Yeah. Real scrawny. Poor dude. I don't even want to hear it. Get out. Wow. Got one. This bait, that might be a little better. Nope, good good bass, nice pound and a half. Look at that sucker. Get over here, get, get over here. Look at that, 15 foot difference in whole different world of quality of bass. Nice, fat. Very nice. That little bait, Charles, is working good. I got another one if you want me to rig you up. I got one. Whee! That was probably a jumper. That little Adler Express bait. Let me show it to you guys. Because I don't remember the name. Here. It's basically what you're running, right? Pretty Monarch Cray is what they call it. Yeah. That's big A's right there. That's close. There's, a, there's another one. Whoa, that's a jumper. This is definitely a pattern that's working right now. That dude, he ain't done yet. Oh, he wants to fight. Oh, okay, come back. No, no, he ain't done yet. You guys saw him, right? Getting smaller though, Charles. That dude is a fighter. He's a jumper for sure. You guys are gonna witness a jumper. We got a little bait that is kicking. Let's see if we got a jumper though. We'll take a little time. Like I mentioned earlier, the wind's blowing us away from the spot like we're not spooking any fish anywhere. Come on, that water feels cold, but it's 63 or 4 degrees. Come on, fish, jump. Nope, no jumpers. Let's go. But it's about as simple as you get. I got it on that uh, biffle head, wobble head, broken neck head, whatever they call them. There's one right there, and it had nothing to do with the shade. Just throwing it up about as shallow as you can throw it and then just come off slow. Let them little flaps do their job. That is a nice bass. About as big as any of them we've caught today. I'm wondering if I could do a... I'm wondering if I could pull them out with that... Uh, tempted to try it. Put that swim bait on that bigger rod and if I could throw it along the bank and pull them out with it maybe be more fun Whoa. One just jumped. Right. that is a big oh that is a mean one look at that sucker let's see if he, he's gonna jump for sure I just know it I just know we got a jumper Charles I can feel it I can feel it oh that thing splashed all right let's go boys and girls we are on fire all right, we're heading back up to that spot, but I want to talk real quick about this bait that I guess I hadn't talked about in this video. I've talked about it before. This is that Elastec type material that Z-Man makes, but this is from AliExpress. And as you can see, this bait shows no sign of wear yet and has caught a bunch of fish. And that's why I wanted to get these. And I originally planned on cutting them down like right here at this appendage right here. And I use them on my uh, chatter baits. So far, no luck with them as a trailer for a chatterbait, but today, the first time I tried them to use them like this on this broken neck, 
it is like game on and I picked that color before we ever even showed up here and it matched perfect with that mossy stuff right off the bat and it just seems to be working so I don't know whether this is lucky this is lucky my new hoodie is lucky but we are game on right now so let's go okay and I think right there's where that fish came from I think I came up too far but I'm just throwing it out and just kind of letting it swim itself down really off the I guess you could call it the edge the ledge off the side of the bank because it drops off pretty quick and I think you can see little black dark spots in there I think they're just little holes and bass have probably even made themselves or whatever they just work up in there kind of hiding out in the edge of that mossy stuff but we are definitely what I'd call out of the BFS realm altogether with the size of bait we're still what I'd consider kind of finessey instead of throwing an actual like jig or chatterbait there's a, there's one right on that wood so we're still kind of finesse fishing in a sense but oh it's a nice chunk oh man these are nice bass too get over here don't come unhooked I need one more pick for sure oh get up here Look at that bass. I need one more pick. I'm putting an end to this video right now. We're gonna see if this guy will jump and we'll talk real quick and wrap it up. But if I catch any more, I'll tag them on the end. But right now, let's see if this old girl's gonna jump. We need a jumper. We've not had a jump. Oh, that fish would've jumped if I'd let go of it. Oh, nope, almost. This is so close. So close to jumping, Charles. Oh my goodness. If you guys can make out the windy conditions we're in, it's probably a miracle we're even catching any. So I'm gonna wrap it up with that. You guys saw the baits. I've got several different colors. Uh, I will share the link in this video to these baits if you guys are, you know, missed the bandwagon the first time I talked about them. I, I got four colors. I wanna say they, I, that wind is nuts. They may make more. This what I thought would be my favorite color. And this would probably actually work today. But when I was rigging up this morning, I was like, I'm gonna try this. I think this color, this used to be one of my favorite colors, period. And they call it a uh, Monarch, or uh, color number five. The Monarch Cray is what these are called, I believe. But also this kind of black and blue color. Uh, they call it, it's number four, right? Very technical. But anyway, I'll share the link in this video to these baits. I want to say they're LT fishing stores where I recommend to get them. And I believe they're like $3.50 for the pack of three. So a little over a dollar something each. And if you've seen as many bass as I've caught, that bait still looks like brand new, the one I'm using. So it's insane how well, just like the Z-Man Elastec stuff, they do last forever, right? But anyway... Get out of here, go bass the bonsai for yourself. Stay tuned, at the end of this video, I still have one battery left and probably a half hour or so left on my SD card. So I'm sure you'll see more fish tagged onto the end of this video. Hopefully bigger than the ones we've caught, but if that's all we catch, these are nice fish. This is probably gonna end up being a better day than we had yesterday. But so far I'm smoking Charles, but Charles smoked me yesterday, I think at two places, or was it all three? Uh, yeah, it was all pretty much all three. It caught more for sure at the one we walked up to. If you haven't checked yeah. out those videos, go check them out. We walked up to a new place, never fished, just fished from the bank. Charles definitely caught twice as many fish as I did, at least. And then uh, we got into ultralight battle. Uh, we were creaking stream fishing in a pontoon boat in a pit. And <laughs> yeah, it's hard to explain. Because but, all the streams were flooded. Right, streams were flooded. We had crazy rain the night before. So check that video out. And Charles definitely caught more of those, uh, what do you call them, Georgia Giant Georgia hybrid bluegill. That was a battle there. Anytime you hooked one of those with the ultralight gear. And so yeah, it's redemption day today, Charles. I'm smoking him so far, but he may find a bait that'll work as good or better than what I've been using. But so far that little bait is tearing him up. So get out, go bass bonsai for yourself. And thanks for watching, but whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it. We're going to catch some largemouth bass, and we're having fun trying. Charles caught a fish. I'm down. setting down. We're getting ready to move. 
<laughs> hey, it's a he fin. caught one, but that sucker is a it's quarter a, of the size of the ones I was pulling on this yeah, other bait. It's a fish. Yep, <laughs> it's a fish, Charles. All right, we're heading up to the other end. I got one too, Charles. Mine's bigger. I can tell just by the drag. Yeah. I'm telling you, I got this exact or a log or bait. No, no, that's. I've got one. I just haven't. Been you able ain't got to... one like this. I'm telling you, it's in flappers. I think. Oh, well, well, get I off! I haven't even been able to catch. Get off my chatterbait. Is the thing. Look at this. I'm just sitting down, not even trying, Charles. You need to get. I got the exact, exact. I can make this bait right here three times. I need to order another pack of these, but they last forever. Look at this. Let's see if I got a jumper. Did you already throw yours in? Yeah. We almost had a double. Look at the the, the size difference on those look suckers. Oh no, it almost jumped. All right, let's go. I hear some voices. Somebody's trying to sneak in. But it's just, look at that bait. Yeah. You can't even tell. It's a little different color too. Yeah. You can't even tell where it's, uh, it doesn't even have a mark on it yet. No appendages. Like yeah. it's just that elastic. But I think it's these little flappy things, just like the uh, yeah. oh the. Well, everybody makes them now, but Strike King did their little crazy whatever they call their. The name eludes Mine's me at the moment. Flappies. Yeah, but let me see yours. Mine you guys, like a crawfish. comment what you think. Charles has thrown this with nothing. He, he caught that one fish on something different. Yeah, but see those don't do what those do. Yeah. And yeah, your color is different. Bit. Orangish, that's more like a yellow. neon yeah. greenish yellowish. Yeah. Just telling you, I got this. I gotta just say the word. Okay. 